One of the things that new marketers learn pretty quickly is that different images and copy can really make a big difference in your performance. Sometimes one offer will get you twice as many sales as another, or one ad or email will get clicked on 20% more often. Improvements like that can really add up and make a big difference, and split testing is how you find them. Split testing is when you take an asset like an email or a page and create a second version of it. You'll change something about it, like the design or the copy, then you'll split the traffic between them to compare the performance of the different versions. For example, you might have two versions of the same email with different subject lines. You'll split test them to see which one gets you more opens and clicks. This way, you'll find out what catches people's interest, or if they like your sense of humor and subject lines. When you're automating your follow-up, finding little tweaks that matter and then using the winning versions forever is a permanent improvement for your business. There are a few ways to run split tests in Entreport, which I'm going to cover now. To split test pages, first go to the page you want to run a test on. Let's say you're testing a sales page in an attempt to drive more conversions. You'll set up split testing by clicking the AB button in the top right and toggling it on. Then click the Add New button. Every time you add a new version, you'll be asked if you want to start fresh or start with a copy of your existing page. Typically, it's a good idea to make a copy since it'll make it easier for you to test specific elements more quickly. Once you do that, it'll load version B of the page and you'll be able to make edits to it. So for example, let's say you're a veterinarian and you want to test whether pictures of dogs or cats draw in more people. You'd make a copy of your dog version, A, and change the pictures to cat photos on your new version, B. Toggle back and forth between the versions using that same AB button in the corner. Once you've made your changes, save and publish your page. This will cause all future traffic to this page to be automatically split 50-50 between the two different versions. After your page has been published for a while, you can load the results of your test by going back to your split tested page and clicking on the stats tab along the top of your screen. Here, you'll see your different versions as well as the number of visits, unique visits, and conversions. Now let's split test some emails. You'll want to start out by creating a second version of your email and messages. Just like before, you can either copy your existing message or start from scratch. Maybe you want to test a plain text version of your email versus an HTML rich version. To split the traffic between your two versions, head to the automation that's currently sending this email. Load it up and find the email element that you want to test. Go into edit mode on your automation and click the plus sign directly above your email and add a new element. When you add a split element, you'll see new version A and version B paths open up. Add the two versions of your email into the spaces provided and notice that the flow meets up again below the test. You can edit what percentage of the traffic you want to send to each version by editing the split element itself. This is particularly useful if you're a little concerned about testing something in a proven system. You might worry that it will perform worse than before, but this feature lets you mitigate that risk by sending, say, 20% of your traffic to that new version. Before you launch your test, it's important to set up a goal below the split test after the branches come back together. This is going to be how you measure your results, and it's one of the areas where Entreport really shines when it comes to performance optimization. See, in most email systems, if you can test at all, the results of your test are going to be based on things like email opens and clicks. The problem with that is that you don't really care about opens and clicks. You probably want what comes next. Probably a sale, right? Or maybe it's a trial or a registration, but whatever it is, is probably not clicks. And what you're going to see is that very often the email that gets the most clicks is not necessarily the one that gets you the most sales. This is true for all areas of marketing. Just because a bunch of people click on your Facebook ad doesn't mean that they're the right people. You want quality, not quantity. And Entreport is the only system that shows you your test results based on the outcome you actually want. The way you do it is with goals. So after your split test, below where your paths remerge, add a goal. The goal should be the real conversion that you're hoping to achieve with your email a sale, a registration, whatever it is. Then after you've published your automation and have contacts flowing through the split test, you can go to the goal conversion rate report in performance mode, click on the goal, and you'll see exactly how many conversions were achieved by the folks who went down either side. Of course, you can also see your opens and clicks too by clicking on the email itself, but stay focused on your real goals, which are down here. Now, we've talked about split testing emails to keep the example simple, but you can use the exact same concept to split test entire follow-up flows. By adding a split, then building entirely different follow-up systems on either side, 
You can test things like types of follow-up, weights between messages, and so forth. You could, for example, test wait durations in your nurturing funnel to see if your audience responds better or worse to faster or slower communication. You could also move around the order of your follow-up steps by placing a task earlier in the process to see if it increases conversions. Just as with the email step, all your future contacts will be automatically split between these two paths and will rejoin at the end. You'll also see your results in the same way using performance mode in the automation itself. For example, if you have two different paths with the same goal at the bottom, you could use the goal conversion rate and goal conversion time reports to get a sense of how well each version is converting and how quickly. Here are some final tips for you. While Entreport lets you test four versions of your pages, it may take a fairly long time to get enough visits on each one of the versions to show any meaningful results. And that's why we suggest testing just two pages at a time. But at the end of the day, it's your call. Similarly, it's best not to test too many elements at the same time either. If you're running a test where you swap out the images, headline, and form fields on an order page, and your new version performs better, you won't actually know why that is. Was it the images, the form fields, the headline, some combination of all three? The best thing you can do is test these elements one at a time. Test your headline first, then you'll know if the headline was what impacted your results. Then do the same with the image, form fields, etc. Now that you've learned how to set up split tests in Entreport, you're ready to start experimenting with marketing and driving real positive changes for your business.